Uh, so we're here to talk about cam and crank sensors. And uh, a little bit later in the class, we got lots of case studies. Some of them with a lab scope, some of them without a lab scope. I know you guys know this, but sometimes if you don't think about it, it don't make sense when you're trying to look at a waveform. But the crankshaft sensor is used to signal the engine piston position to the PCM. Now, the cam and crank signals in action, this PCM here is watching these signals. You know, like we can see these signals with our eyes. This is what the PCM is watching, okay? But this was after it was driven for about 10, 15 minutes. It got hot. The sensor itself started breaking down. You scope it then and you see it. Okay? So sometimes you have to actually get a vehicle to where it's acting up because heat has a lot, of, a lot to do with electronics, as you know. I found, unless they're looking around and batting their eyelashes and really acting crazy, she's probably not crazy. I'm going to believe her. She's sensing something. She says it's low in power. Okay, I'll give you that. I don't feel it. My next step was to use a vacuum gauge. And what do you think I saw? When we did, we saw a low vacuum reading. Okay? So I did a visual inspection. You see these dips in pressure? This is every time an intake valve on one of the cylinders opens, you see a fall in pressure. Make sense? See how even it is? And you see how across the board, again, there was nothing wrong with this engine. They are fairly even. They open about the same pressure, fall to about the same low pressure, up and down, across the board. Right? So I would, if I would look at this, what would you expect to see if you had a jump timing chain or jump timing belt on a V6 engine? You would think they would be different, yeah. yeah. And we put silicone on it, and it fixed it. And why go too far than you have to go? I mean, I'm in a working shop, working environment. All I can give you is a story. <laughs> but you know that stuff like that, but that's stuff you don't think of. But that's why an important rule, as Pierre said, and as a lot of us in this room I know, if they say I wasn't doing it before, you go back to just where you were working and you think. Use your head. That is the last case study I got for you. I've enjoyed it here. If I can help you guys anytime, take my business card, give me a call. I'll help you out any way I can. Thank you for having me.